Hey guys, before the video begins, I would like to make a very important announcement in regards to a new channel made by a friend of mine, Kelly Productions. He has created a new channel named The Watch. It's a channel dedicated to making superhero films and miniseries of a new universe that has been created and named The Watch. And the first film is out right now. If you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or even on this very channel, you know I've spoken about a film that's been involved that I've been involved with. Well, this is it. The Midnight Warden. I'd highly appreciate it if you guys subscribe to this channel, liked the video, turned on notifications, and shared this film with your friends so we can make more films in the future. The more awareness of our films, the more we can make. You can find a link to the channel in the description below of this video, or click on my channel and go to the section channels, and it will be there as we speak. And with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy today's video. What's going on, buddy? My name is Zell Prince, and welcome back to another SCP reaction video. Now, it's actually been, truthfully speaking, it's been a long time since I've actually reacted to just regular SCP videos, not this Tom Satran stuff, not the other stuff with it. It's just been a long time since I've actually reacted to regular SCP videos. I actually took quite a bit of a break from uh, reacting to SCP-related material because... If you if you continuously watch SCP videos on and off for reaction videos, it does tend to get a little uh, drainy and such. So that's what happened to me. I got drained from watching a lot of SCP just straight stuff and not just like other fan made stuff like Victor Transic stuff, uh, Percy and the Beast stuff. So I just took a hiatus from uh, SCP videos, like regular SCP videos for quite a while. But now we're going to get a little bit back on track with some of it. So... I'm just going to go ahead and get right back into it. So we're going to react to SCP-001, A Simple Toy Maker. Now, this is what I think is a uh, wondertainment. I'm pretty sure I could be very wrong because my knowledge of SCP has disappeared in the last couple months. Because uh, I found a video a while back that talked about one of the toys that were made by, um, the, by um, the toy, basically the toy maker. But I didn't know much about him. And I said I would find a video that basically explains who uh, I think that like one, one entertainment is. So I found this video immediately after that reaction video. And this has been on my playlist for quite a while. Like a couple of months since I last reacted to that video specifically. So I'm just been very curious for a long time who this is. Why he's making all these SCPs. I never looked into it. That much. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into this because I've actually been wondering this for a very long time. I know a lot of a couple of the SCPs he has made that are related to him, but I don't know anything about him himself. So we're going to go ahead and get right, right into this in three, two, one. Play. Say, kids, would you like to hear a story? Because we've got a really good one for you. Seriously, you're going to love it. It's a classic a while since I've heard this voice too. about one man's rise from humble beginnings there to is. become one of history's greatest and most visionary toy makers. Or maybe it isn't. Maybe it's about a company that literally came from nothing. Dr. Wonder Tame is him. still shrouded in mystery. Maybe it's about a woman breaking the glass ceiling to take over the toy company left to her by her eccentric My father. turning on. Maybe it's about all of these things. But the one thing we can tell you about the story of Dr. Wondertainment is that every word of it is true. Or at least as far as anything is true in the weird, wonderful world of the, the SCP, SCP Foundation. Foundation. As long as you believe, God, we'll all this. have a wonderful time. As long as you believe... Nothing can hurt you. Not in the fabulous world of Dr. Wondertainment. Dr. Wondertainment is the name given to SCP-001, who, due to his relatively benign nature, has been classified as safe by the Foundation. What's right. safe? He's creating killer toys. How is he not Ketter? Then focusing on containing Wondertainment himself, the SCP Foundation has centered its efforts on containing the products that he created. Wait, I'll go back a second. The fight is safe by the Foundation. <laughs> Rather than focusing on containing Wondertainment himself, the SCP Foundation has centered its efforts on containing the products that he created. Why can't they contain him himself? 
it would be easier to go after the man that's making the products and after going after the products themselves you just make sp- spending your all your resources in thousands of directions instead of going after the guy himself Hates. he is a class one reality warper oh that's why that answers my question constructing otherwise normal objects and imbuing them with anomalous properties He's become infamous for using this ability to create bizarre, magical, and potentially dangerous toys and games that are distributed by as yet unknown means. Many of Wondertainment's toys are in the Foundation's possession, such as SCP-445, origami paper that takes on properties of whatever it's folded to look like. I don't SCP know that one. SCP-3147, lollipops that allow people to switch voices with each other. Dr. Wondertainment what? was born into a family of humble means. His mother was a seamstress and his father was an accountant. Unsatisfied with his mundane life, Wondertainment's only joy growing up was in the stories that his father would tell him about an ancestor of his who was once a famous toy maker. Inspired by these stories, Wondertainment developed an interest in crafting toys, and as an adult set out to learn the secrets he would need to create toys unlike anything the world had ever seen. He spent his life following rumors of magical artifacts and mm, the Wanderer's library targets, until his search brought him to a mysterious factory. If you've seen our previous videos on SCP-001 proposals, you can probably guess that this factory was the factory. The mysterious oh, I remember. I, this is a video I didn't react to on the channel. This is a video I watched off camera. I know exactly what this is. Place where this new is going. SCPs are supposedly created. I know where this Wondertainment is going. barely escaped the massacre and the Foundation takeover of the factory with his life, but he was able to find a variety of notes that he took with him. These notes contained clues that led him to the workshop of his famous toy maker ancestor, and from there he reclaimed his birthright. That was the day that he truly became Dr. Dr. Wonder, Wonder Table. It's a fun story, isn't it? Very straightforward, but perhaps it is a little underwhelming for an SCP-001 proposal. After all, SCP-001... Unless that was the cover story for the actual tr hidden truth that the SCP Foundation likes to redact and make a me create a makeup story. Because it's not the first time the SCP Foundation does that. One is the collective designation given to some of the most important anomalies of all time, including many that could have potentially been involved in the Foundation's. I remember that founding. video. Hmm. Let's start again. Reginald Filbert Lionel Archibald Westinghouse Wondertainment the Third is the Jesus name Christ. That's a long name. Given to SCP-001, who, due to his highly unpredictable nature, has been classed as Euclid by the Foundation and he is to be detained as soon as his location can be ascertained. Until he can be captured, the SCP Foundation has focused its efforts on containing the products that he creates. He is So a it is hard just to f just to actually find him. Okay, that makes sense. Class 2 Reality Warper, capable of constructing otherwise normal objects and imbuing them with anomalous Wait, properties. Wait, is the script just repeating itself? ...for using this ability to create bizarre, magical, and potentially dangerous toys, games, candy, soft drinks, and other products aimed at children and young teens. These products are distributed by as yet unknown means. Many of Wondertainment's creations are in Foundation possession, such as the often imitated but never matched Little Mister's Collection, which yes. are a group of living collectibles with unique anomalous properties. Due to Wondertainment's reality warping abilities, it is impossible to pin down concrete information about his history. What we can tell you for sure is that he's immortal and ageless and comes from a long line of Wondertainment stretching all the way back to the Cretaceous period, where they made all sorts of toys for the good little dinosaur children. It's what? also widely known that he is, is in fact not a real person, but merely the manifestation of the dreams of every child on Earth, brought forth solely by the power of imagination. No confirmed sightings of Dr. Wondertainment have ever occurred, but witnesses have described him as dashing, very handsome for his age, and a lovely chap capable of creating whimsy and wonder with the snap of his fingers. He's a tall man about the height of a piece of string, and he's immediately recognizable by his walking stick and W-shaped mustache. It's also been reported <laughs> I that he's w around the circumference of both wrists, almost as if his hands have been removed and reattached at some point. 
However, mm. the truth of the matter is that... Hmm, no, no, we're telling it all wrong again. This doesn't do anything to capture the scope of the Wondertainment story. It needs to feel bigger, more comprehensive. Let's try it again. Oh, Dr. Wondertainment okay, I get it now. is a trademark what's of happening? the Wondertainment Toy Company. The name I get what's happening now. Name given to SCP-001, a corporation that, due to its consistent output of anomalous items, is classed by the Foundation as Keter. Until this company can be permanently shut down, the SCP Foundation has focused its efforts on containing the products that it creates. The collective power of the company's constituent employees and the technology they make use are equivalent to that of a Class 3 reality warper. The Wondertainment Company produces and sells a range of products, ranging from the seemingly normal to the downright weird, all imbued with anomalous properties. The company has become infamous for their constant output of bizarre, magical, and potentially uh -oh. dangerous toys, games, kid just got thanosed. candy, soft drinks, and other products aimed at children teens, and young at heart adults. These products are made and distributed from Wonderworld, trademark. A location trademark. that is yet <laughs> unknown to the Foundation, but offers factory tours every hour from Tuesday to Friday. Many of Wondertainment's creations are in Foundation possession, such as Wondertainment's famous dragon snails, the real fire-breathing pet you can keep in your pocket. <laughs> Not much is known about the inner workings is of the Blackwood? Wondertainment. Is that his name, Blackwood? Like the Blackwood or something? Company. Oh yes. no, Lord Blackwood, is that DP Foundation has no information currently God, how do I remember that? Ship structure, location, history, or corporate policies. Various former and current employees have been interviewed regarding their experiences working for Wondertainment, but they never seem to be able to remember very much of use. Those interviewed variously describe the Wondertainment company as a regular office building, an immense toy factory, an amusement park, but all agree it's the best place they ever worked. In fact, you should apply for a job there. We, I, I mean, they have a few openings in their legal department. Or so I've heard. Oh, silly me, it seems we've gotten off topic. You're here to hear about the SCP-001 proposal. Posting a job ad wasn't what I meant to do when I hacked into... <laughs> I mean, well, don't worry about that. Forget I said a thing. Now let's try this again. Oh Focus god, here we go, four times a try. What a twist. Isabel Helga Anastasia Parvati Wondertainment V is the name Jesus given to Christ. SCP-001, who, due to her ability to spread sunshine and whimsy wherever she goes, has been classed as Thaumiel by the Foundation. And due to her immensely unpredictable nature, the SCP Foundation has resolved to just leave her be. Because she can't be captured, the SCP Foundation has focused its efforts on containing the products that she creates. She is a Class 4 reality warper, capable of constructing wonderful, fantastic objects and imbuing them with anomalous properties. She's famous, and why- I feel like at this point, the SCP Foundation doesn't have any true information on Dr. Wondertainment themselves. Himself, or herself, whoever it is. And are just trying to get, give us an idea of what Dr. Wondertainment is, but not who. Beloved for using this ability That's what I'm getting right bizarre, now. ...magical, and not even a little bit dangerous toys, games, candy, soft drinks, and other products aimed at everyone from ages 9 to 99. Jesus. These products are distributed by, as yet, unknown means. Many of Wondertainment's creations are in Foundation possession, such as SCP-3551, the awesome inflatable alien invaders, and SCP-2514, a lovely horse who can sing Happy Birthday. <laughs> How grand. Wondertainment inherited the Wondertainment name from her father, who either passed away or never existed at all. The circumstances of his death and perhaps non-existence were very messy, involving a mass murderer, the leader of a shadowy international extra-governmental paramilitary organization, at least one deity, and four bent paperclips. She four owns six corgis, okay. and all of them are named Jeremy. In a free time, she likes to... <sighs> no. No, this is all still wrong. All right, enough is enough. You want to know who Dr. Wondertainment really is? Well, you asked for it. Yes. Dr. Wondertainment is the name given to SCP-001, who due to his deity level power has been classed as Apollyon by the Foundation. Oh shit. There is no possible way to contain him. 
He is a Class V reality warper, capable of breaking down and reconstructing the very laws of reality. Did you really think that those little trinkets were the full extent of my... I mean, his creations? Did you truly think of him as such a small, petty creature? Dr. Wondertainment is no mere toy smith. No, he is a god. Want examples of his creations? Just look around you. Everything from the most innocent safe class to the most harrowing Keter class, it's all thanks to him. He is behind everything. Marshall Carter and Dark, the Sarkists, the Church of the Broken God, even the Scarlet King himself. All that time, all that effort, all it came down to was one entity. One singular living personification of chaos. One day the SCP Foundation will finally give up trying to find out how he distributes his products. When they will finally see how small and worthless their attempts to restore order really are. And they will be driven before his power! They will crumble and decay into nothingness! Jesus you Christ. You will bow before Dr. Wondertainment! Man, this guy is really committing to the voice. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Had you going for a second there, didn't we? You should have seen the looks on your faces. But let's start again one more time. We're being serious this time. Mask off, here's the true story of Dr. Wondertainment. Dr. Wondertainment is the name given to SCP-001, who due to his relatively benign nature has been classed as neutralized by the Foundation. Rather than focusing on containing Wondertainment himself, the SCP Foundation has focused its efforts on containing the products that he creates. He is a reality warper whose limits have yet to be documented capable of constructing otherwise normal objects and imbuing them with anomalous properties. He's become infamous for using this ability to create bizarre, magical, and potentially dangerous toys and games that are distributed by as yet unknown means. Due to his secretive nature, almost nothing is known of Dr. Wondertainment's true origins, and the waters have been muddied extensively by the side effects of his reality warping ability. In fact, it's entirely possible that Dr. Wondertainment himself doesn't know who he is anymore. It's possible that all the proposed origins and descriptions of Dr. Wondertainment are true in their own way, but it is equally possible that none of them are. All that's known for sure mm. is that Dr. Wondertainment, be they male or female, <laughs> corporation or single individual, is a constant thorn in the SCP Foundation's side. No matter who they really are, they're not going away soon, and only time will tell who they'll be tomorrow, or what further horrors they and their company will create. And that's where our story will have to come to an end, at least for now. We hope you enjoyed it, and remember, <laughs> keep believing. Now go check out SCP-001, which is the real 001, and SCP-001 The Children or Boros Cycle for more knowledge on the mysterious and elusive SCP-001. Okay, that was a bit of a roller coaster, but I got the overall idea now about what Dr. Wondertainment actually is. Because I've, re cause I've seen so many SCPs related to him and, him, and I never knew what the hell he was. But now I get the overall idea of what uh, Dr. Wonder Payment actually is. So, now I'm ready to move on to other SCP-related topics. I'm going to find some more SCP-related videos on this channel that hasn't been the little slice of life stuff they've been doing lately. Because that's also another reason why I've been doing SCP video videos, because they haven't been uh, doing regular SCP explanation videos for a while. They've been doing, like, what-ifs and whatnot lately. Another reason why I fell off for a while, but I'm going to look for some videos I know I've never seen on their channel and even go back at my channel and look at some of the stuff that I've reacted to to make sure I'm not watching the same exact thing over again because I've I've done that before. Um, but with that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoy today's reaction video. Please like and subscribe all this stuff, guys, and I'll see you in the next reaction video. Bye.